after walking along the whole Mount San Michel, we are now approaching the Abbey. If you want to know more about the tidal island, check out the description below for the link. As we enter, let me tell you a background history of this landmark. The history of Mount San Michel Abbey started about 708 when Albert, Bishop of Avranch, had the abbey built in honor of Archangel Michael. It became a major pilgrimage route, and in the 10th century, the Benedictines settled in the abbey, while a village grew below its walls. The abbey itself is a unique building because its plan is unlike any other monastery. Constrained by the pyramidal shape of the mount, its medieval builders wrapped the building around the granite rock, and by the 14th century, it extended as far as the foot of the rock, known as Merve, or the Wonder. Often regarded as the jewel of the abbey's architecture, it is a master of its 13th century builders who succeeded in perching two blocks of three-story buildings on a steep rocky slope. Also, it was an impregnable stronghold during the Hundred Years' War and a fine example of military architecture. Its ramparts and fortifications resisted all the English assaults, and as a result, the mount became a symbol of national identity. Aside from those, the layout and architecture are influenced by the guiding principles of the monastic life. The rule of Saint Benedict, observed by the monks of the mount, dictated that their days be devoted to prayer and work. So the rooms were organized around these two activities, and the space was reserved exclusively for the monks to respect the principle of an enclosed order. Following the dissolution of the religious community during the revolution and until 1863, the abbey was used as a prison. But in 1874, it was classified as a historic monument and underwent a major renovation. Through the years, work never stopped. And today, Visitors can enjoy the majestic abbey that the people of the Middle Ages regarded as the heavenly Jerusalem on earth, an image of paradise. As you can see, there's a lot of stairs going to the abbey. We will first visit the entrance or the visitor center where you can buy your ticket which costs about 10 euros. It is also the former guard room, which is the entrance to the fortified abbey. The Grand Degree The stairs that lead to the entrance. West Terrace Originally parvis of the Abbey Church and the first three bays of the nave was destroyed by a fire in the 18th century. The classical facade was rebuilt in 1780 and it offers a general view of the bay. Finally, the terrace offers a unique view of the neo-gothic spire of the church tower built in 1897 with a gilded copper statue of St. Michael on top. Aside from commissioning St. Albert to build the Mont Saint-Michel, St. Michael is also the head of the heavenly militia. He was a great importance to medieval religious sensibility. In the New Testament, St. Michael appears in the book of Revelation as he fights and defeats a dragon, symbol of the devil. So he is usually depicted holding a sword and a set of scales. The statue that stands on the top of the belfry has the traditional attributes of the Archangel. It was sculpted by Emmanuel Fremiet and commissioned by the architect Victor Petigrad, who wanted to see the new 32-meter steeple suitably crowned. The statue was restored in 1987. Abbey Church Built in the early decades of the year 1000, it was constructed 80 meters above sea level. The Romanesque chancel, which collapsed in 1421, was rebuilt after the Hundred Years' War in a flamboyant Gothic style.
cloister. It provided communication between various buildings and a place of prayer and meditation. Processions were held here during religious festivals. It also provides a connection to heaven, its gardens evoking the original paradise. In the abbey, the cloister was the center of monastic life between the refectory, dormitory, and church, where the monks prayed seven times a day. And it was completed around 1228. Refectory. The monks took their meals here in silence, while one of them gave a reading from the pulpit of the south wall. The side walls of this room have a narrow windows invisible from the entrance. Along the way down, you'll come across the relief of Archangel Michael poking his finger into the skull of St. Albert. Guest Hall. Located beneath the refectory, it was designed for receiving royalty and nobility. Great Pillared Crypt. It was built in the mid 15th century to support the Gothic chancel of the Abbey Church. St. Martin Crypt, built after the year 1000 to serve as a foundation of the south arm of the transept of the Abbey Church. Monks Ossuary This wheel was installed around 1820 in order to hoist provision to the prisoners held in the abbey when it was turned into a prison. It currently occupies the former monk's ossuary. Saint Etienne Chapel Situated between the infirmary which collapsed in the early 19th century and the monks' ossuary, this was the Chapel of the Dead. North-South Stairs It runs below the West Terrace. This is the main axis of circulation of the Romanesque Monastery. Covered walk. A long room with a double nave. Its architects designed it with ribbed vaults, an innovation that was the harbinger of Gothic art in the early 12th century. Knights Hall, built to hold up the cloister. This was the work and study room of the monks. And lastly, the almonry. The first floor beneath the guest hall, this was the place where the monks received the poor as well as pilgrims from all walks of life. And we will be exiting through a gift shop where they sell a lot of souvenirs from Mont San Michel. So now we finish our tour of the whole Mont San Michel Abbey. We learned the history 
and had a walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the uh, Yabi of St. Michel or St. Michael. Until next time, bye. So guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to comment. Hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, come on guys, hit the bell! For notifications. And don't forget to share. Hello!